it's about a boy growing up fairly happily with his mother, but in a situation that he doesn't realize is very peculiar in that their world is a locked room. And Jack is only five and he thinks that's just how the world is. He has no idea that he's been born to a woman who's been kidnapped. Um, it's the story of the five emotions inside of an 11-year-old girl's head and what happens when joy and sadness get pushed out of headquarters and have to get back. It was a deeply moving experience to write the little girl coming home and talking to her parents and being that brave that she would say, you want me to be happy, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. And that that allowed the parents to have a moment of their own vulnerability and that by doing that, she started to heal her family and allowing them to all embrace each other and connect back to each other because they had gotten so far apart. I've been to you know other film festivals, but never one as a guest of honor. Uh, and the location here is amazing. The people is incredibly nice. Maggie is a father-daughter tale um, just, that just happens to have zombies in it. Um, it's a slow burn uh, zombie story that uh, comes from a very personal uh, place in my heart, actually. So it was uh, the relationship with my dad that I really wanted and kind of found a bit of that in my uh, remembering of our relationship and wrote it down and uh, it turned out to be a decent script. Let's, let's examine what would happen to this family who was torn apart by this one virus that, you know, it's just an allegory or it's, it's, a, it's a metaphor for any other terminal disease movie. So it was personal for me. Really casting, casting is the challenge. Once you cast it right, you just get out of their way and, uh, and they'll do the work. The story is about uh, a man whose wife dies. Uh, very early on in the story and in the process of grieving for her, he realizes that he's not grieving because something isn't working, something's broken. So uh, he sets out on this journey to figure that out and at the suggestion of his, of his father-in-law, uh, he tells him to, to take everything apart in a metaphorical sense, but he, he takes that literally and starts physically taking everything in his life apart to the point where he's destroying everything in his life to get at what the problem is.